told me that he's looking to replicate Mooney's assertiveness and dominance on the floor. Guys. Leszewski is in. Jawan Durham wins the tip. Blue Hose coming out man to man, and they will pressure the ball a little bit. Fighting Irish. Take an early three, and T.J. Gibbs knocks it down. Getting a lot of good movement early. Durham working inside on Ben Drake. He gets the friendly roll. Had it partially blocked by Durham. Quickly up the floor to Hub. Back to Gibbs. Gibbs driving baseline. Reverse layup. Leszewski gets the board and puts it in. Leszewski's career high coming last year against Pittsburgh. 23 points. He's averaging just over five points per game so far this season. Drake from the top of the key. Starting five for the Blue Hose. Chris Martin, Ben Drake, Corey Hightower, Michael Eisler, and JC Younger. There's Martin on the layup. You know, a lot of times when you attack the basket, you got to come to a jump stop. There you go. That allows you to use your pivot foot to go underneath and score. So just that jump stop, pivot, and score is a great, great tool to have. It goes down, somebody else got to step up, and that's exactly what you want to see in your sophomore to do that. So far, he's done a great job. Martin passes inside to Drake, who lays it in. But the point guard has a couple assists as well. Hub looking inside for Durham, the slam. Presbyterian right now attacking the basket, making it tough on this yeah. Notre Dame defense. Yeah, really. Uh, Coach Bray would not be happy with, with what he's seen on attacking the basket. Hub drops it off for Dane Goodwin, getting his first action of the night. Presbyterian's coaching staff said, we will play extremely hard. Looks for Goodwin, who's guarded by Jenkins. Yeah, the Irish need spacing and movement. Cody Schubert to the elbow for McCormick, who hands it off to Hightower. Hightower, step back. Beautiful shot. Works past Hub. Nice play by Fluger, who jars the yes. table and Hub the other way. Up and under. It sneaks in. It's a Blue Hose team who we were told would play hard, and yes. they certainly have. McCormick faked the three. Got He'll take another. Got it. Confidence they're playing with. Fluger out for Goodwin. Beautiful passing. Jogo. Bang. Two for two. Higgins comes down with it. Schubert trying to push in transition. Attacks a lane. Kicks it out. More passing. Jenkins. Wow. Great basketball. Great coaching. It's been a fun game to watch. Not a lot of whistles. Goodwin. He answers. Comes up short. Hightower the other way. Strong drive. Really impressive. Build it with young kids. Maybe take her lumps a little bit and then grow together as a team. Nice pass. Baseline for C.J. Melton. Time to shine, bro. And hyped him up before returning to the huddle with the rest of his teammates. And guys, if you watch the bench, they have been energized this entire game. And that's largely because of the senior leadership. They win season, but then they lose their best player in Adam Flagler. He transferred to Baylor. As Drake gets the offensive rebound and Presbyterian has the lead. A hit to the head recently and is out for precautionary measures. They expect him to be back soon. Corey Hightower working inside, right hand. Scoring, especially from the perimeter. Now you don't have John Mooney. Fluger with the steal. Puts it in. 6'8", 225. We're in a heavy brace for that knee. Hub to Fluger, pump fake. Works inside, out to Hub. Got it. Hightower, he's been the hot hand. Pass to Drake, he tries a three. Fluger. Got a layup. Up ahead to Gibbs. Notre Dame up by four. E.J. Gibbs called him the emotional leader. He can get the guys fired up in the locker room. Played just 10 games last year before suffering a season-ending injury. 24 points for the most in his career and 11 rebounds. So impressed by the Blue Hose. They are not intimidated here. Fluger from the corner and Notre Dame up by five. Point four left. Fluger will inbound to Hub. Three to Gibbs from way downtown. Got it! Just like you draw it up right there. It's Notre Dame 8 for 15 from deep in the first half. And that one was from Mishawaka, as Dick Vitale would say. Yeah, and one of the things that's tough about that, you allowed, you allowed Notre Dame to get one more possession, where if you want to throw the ball out of bounds, you would have got the last possession. So that was a potentially six-point play. 
At the time, Farrell was an assistant coach at Presbyterian before moving to the College of Charleston and then the Citadel. You're saying, what's the difference? I think it's focus and concentration. Hub tries a three. Got it. Well, Gibbs heads to the bench after the foul called on him. He's in a little bit of foul trouble with three. Yeah. So Fluger checks back in for him. Good win to Joga. Fluger guarded by the freshman, Sean Jenkins. Nice pass inside to Leshesky. Reverse. Got it. Incredibly balanced offense right now. Three players with eight points, two players with six, one player with five. Eisler falls to the ground, comes back up, and puts it in. Rebounds loose. Durham back to Fluger again. Second try. Makes no mistake. Eisler's been quiet tonight. He passes back out to Jenkins. Martin, beautiful finish. Doubling down, get their hands on the basketball. Coach has got them well prepared. Hightower passes inside to Drake. Drake working around Durham and finishes. Chris Martin, stop and start, and again with the finish. Really part to the help from their older teammates, guys. Yeah, I really like that mentality. They could have brought in junior college players. But they elect to say, no, we're going to go with freshmen. Hub has it taken away by Martin. Hub falls down. Three on one. Eisler with the slam. Presbyterian down two. It's Bray's guys say, come on. Let's play with some confidence out here. Look at the benches. The one is really excited. The other one is tentative. Presbyterian coming off of... What some people might not realize, one of their best years in program history. Yes. It's the first time they reached 21s as a D1 program. Lyshevsky! Luger. Critical time right now. Drops it off for Durham. Great execution on the backdoor cut. Leads Notre Dame in scoring with 13. That's exactly what Notre Dame's doing. Fade away. Got it. Largest lead of the game. They'll take on Toledo on Thursday on ESPN. Look Let's out. See. Here's McCormick. Got it. 